Hey guys, so I've been messing around with some of these 18650 batteries that I uh, got out of an old laptop battery. As you can see up here I have some of these, these here are done. I uh, charged them up, tested them, made sure that they had good capacity. Almost all of them came out to about 2500 uh, milliamp hours. Uh, there was one here that had 2400. These red ones here I haven't done yet. But I just wanted to do a quick video and show you how I'm going about checking these and making sure that they're good. So for the green ones, when I got them out, I went through and I measured all their voltages and I labeled them. One, two, three, four, five. I got a total of six of them. And so you can see here, battery number three originally started out at about 1.9 volts, which for lithium ion batteries is way too low. So we have to slowly charge them up. So I was using my IMAX B6 charger here at half an amp to charge them. And then I use the discharge function to discharge them. And then I charge them back up again and that can tell me then how much um, capacity they have. All right, so we're going to do this battery here and uh, see what it see if it's any good or not. So let me hit start here. And hit enter. And now it's going to start. I have the uh, charger hooked up to my homemade uh, power supply from an old computer power supply running off of 12 volts so we're gonna let this battery run now let it charge up slowly it usually takes about I don't know three and a half four hours for it to charge up completely you wanna keep an eye on it because if these if something's wrong with it they can get hot and you know explode and you know cause issues alrighty so I'll be right back when this is done charging alrighty now, as you can see here, it is done charging. It charged up to 4.1 volts. Uh, charge time was 423 minutes. And it uh, took uh, 2,526 milliamps to fully charge it. So, now what I'm going to do is we are going to set this to the discharge function. I am going to set it at half an half an amp for discharge. Um, we need to make sure we set this for uh, one cell and hit enter, and it's going to go into a discharge function. So it's going to discharge it down to three volts, and we'll see um, how many milliamps that it is able to withstand okay after 335 minutes it discharged down to 3 volts and it discharged a total of 1676 milliamps so I'm going to write that number down So from number three here, one, six, seven, six. All right. We're going to go back and we're going to go to the charge function. And this time I'm going to up it to one amp. And we are going to start it again. And we're going to let that charge up. Alrighty, so the battery is now done charging again. And as we can see here, it charged up to 4.1 volts. It took 217 minutes. And it uh, took uh, 2,404 milliamps to charge this battery. So, since I only got 1,000... 
676 milliamp when I discharged it and then it took 2400 milliamps to charge it again I am going to discharge it one more time and see if I come out with something closer to 2400 so let's get this going again alrighty so it uh, finished discharging again and this time it discharged um, over 2500 milliamps so that means that this battery is a good battery and we can get 2500 out of it at least so let's unhook it from the charger here and then I will write on here what the capacity is alrighty so there is a quick demonstration as to how I am testing these batteries so these green ones are done now I just have to start on them red ones and I'll be using these in future projects I have an idea for a remote control car and some other Arduino projects so Please comment, like, and subscribe. Till next time, thanks for watching.